communist spies. It sounds like something out of a Cold War novel. Except the spying never stopped. It just took a new form. This is Tang Juan. She worked as a researcher at the University of California, Davis. The FBI charged her with lying on her visa application. She was arrested about one month later on July 23rd. She allegedly hid her connection with the Chinese military. This is a widespread phenomenon, as a July 30th report from Stanford's Hoover Institution found over 250 instances of Chinese researchers concealing their ties with the Chinese military. There have been numerous cases and arrests in recent years for Chinese espionage, including Tong. Before her arrest, she took refuge in the San Francisco Chinese consulate. On July 24th, one day after her arrest, the United States ordered the closure of a different Chinese consulate, the one in Houston, Texas. U.S. officials said that the consulate was particularly aggressive and particularly successful in the theft of American research and technology. One target was a COVID-19 vaccine, as Houston has many biomedical research facilities. This kind of theft is not some new development. Over the past 10 years, there were 50 cases of consulate staff targeting local research centers. The intention is to get American experts to work for China. That way, people may unknowingly share research secrets with the Chinese regime. These are just a few examples of Chinese consulates orchestrating theft from America. And this is systemic through the United States. U.S. officials and experts have described both consulates and embassies as spy hubs for the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP. The FBI has over 2,000 active investigations that trace back to the government in China, according to FBI Director Christopher Wray. He added that the FBI opens a new counterintelligence investigation that ties back to China every 10 hours. Ray said there was a 1,300% increase in China-related cases in the last 10 years. The Justice Department said more than 80% of all economic espionage charges since 2012 implicated China. Along with theft through infiltration and recruitment, there was also influence. The CCP employs a wide range of influence operations. One operation that has recently come under fire is China's Confucius Institutes. In the name of spreading Chinese culture on U.S. college campuses, these institutes instead push CCP propaganda and stifle free speech. 38 have closed as of May, but 80 still remain active. As more closures and arrests are made, the United States is now exposing China, lifting the veil from the spy network.